Okay, so this is lesson 1-7, which is solving linear systems using matrices. So we're going to talk about today, so our central question is, how can a matrix row operations be used to solve a system of linear equations? So we're going to talk about the long way to solve something, and then we're going to talk about how we can use technology to solve it really quick, okay? So it's important, though, that we understand both methods. So example one is understanding row operations on a matrix. So it says, what is the solution of the system of linear equations? So we have 3x minus 2y equals 25 and 2x plus 5y equals 4. So to make this easy to try to walk through, what I did is I took all the steps and I put them down and then I'm going to write in the middle what we're doing. Okay, so you can see we have equations over here and we have the matrices over here, okay? So sometimes it's going to be easier to just write it as a matrix because then you're not dealing with the x, y, and um, the x's and the y's and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so our first step is to write as a matrix. So that was our first step. Okay, and all these are in the notes, and in the notes my handwriting is much better. So if you have trouble reading what I'm writing right now, refer to the PDF of the notes. Okay, the second step, we want to get the x values to be the same. So you're going to take multiply row 1 by 2 and row 2 by 3. So you can see we took 3x three, three to get that into 6. We multiply by 2. 2x two multiplied by 3 gets us 6. So now we have the same x values. So the next step is we're going to add. No, sorry. Not add. We're going to take row 1 minus row 2, so we're going to subtract, and we're going to take that and replace row 1, okay? So if we look here, we have 6x and 6x, so 6 minus 6 gives us 0. Negative 4 minus 15 gives us negative 19. 50 minus, oops, 50 minus 12 gives us 38. So that's where this is coming from right here. Okay, we also on this step to get the 6x, 15y, and 12 into 2x, 5y, and 4, we are going to divide row 2 by 3. Okay, again, my handwriting is awful here, but it's the best I can do. Okay, the next step is we are going to divide row 1. by 19, negative 19. So that gets us this new row right there. Okay, and then we are going to multiply row one by negative five. And the reason we did that is to try to, we wanna cancel out those y's. So our goal here is we're trying to get just one X and one Y, so that way we can tell what our solution is. So we're gonna multiply row one by negative five so that that way you can see now we have a negative five Y and a positive five Y. Okay, so in our next one, we are going to replace, oops, ah, if I could spell here. It's hard to write tiny, okay replace um, row 2 with row 1 plus row 2. So that's where when we added the 5, um, 5y and negative 5y, we're going to get the 0y right there. Okay, so then our next step is to divide row 1 by negative 5 and divide row two by two. 
and you can see here that's because we want the negative 5, we want to turn that into a 1, and we want to turn that x into a 1. Okay, and then the last step was to switch row 1 and row 2. So these are all things that you're allowed to do. You can multiply rows by a number, you can add rows together and replace a row, you can divide by a number, um, you can switch the rows in the orders that they come in. So the end result here that we have is this matrix. So we know that it's we have x, y, and our constant, and x, y, and our constant. So when you have zeros in there, that means there's no y, and that means there's no x. So that's why we can say x equals 7 and y equals negative 2. So that is how you do row, row operations by hand. And now we're going to talk about how we can use technology. So um, I would suggest, so if you have a graphing calculator, if not, using that Calculate 84 app. And if you don't have either of those options, let me know and I will look up how we can do this on Desmos as well. Okay, so or you can find a free graphing calculator on the internet and it should also be able to be similar steps here. So what we want to do is I want to take this system of equations and I want to use the calculator to solve. So what you're going to do first is write it as a matrix. So this would be 1, negative 1. I need to subtract the z to the other side because I need all the variables on the same side in the same order. So it would be negative 1, 0. Then I'd have 4, 3, 2, 6, 2, oops, nope because bottom one's not in the correct order, so I need the x to go first, so it'd be negative one, then two, then negative three, and then 13. Okay, so again, handwriting's not great on here. If you wanna refer to my notes for the steps, I have the steps on there. So the first thing you're gonna do is put it in standard form, which we did. Well, we just switched it to our matrix. Okay, and then to enter it into the matrix, you're gonna hit second, and x to the negative 1 button. Okay, and then you're going to arrow over to edit, and you're going to hit enter. Okay, that is where you're going to then enter the dimensions of the matrix. So a 3 by 4 matrix, so we'd enter 3 by 4, and then it will change the side size, okay, and then we're going to enter values, okay, then you're going to do, you got to get back to your blank screen so you can start again, so if you hit second mode, that gets you back to the, clears you back to the blank screen, then you're going to hit second and x to the negative one, arrow over to math and you want to find B which says RREF and what that stands for I'll write it up here is reduced row echelon form so that means that it's going to be all ones and zeros and give us our solution okay then you're gonna hit enter Then it's going to, you have to put in the matrix that you want to reduce. So you're going to go second, x to the negative 1, then find matrix A, assuming that's where you put your things in, and then hit enter again. I believe you have to hit enter twice. Um, and then it will give you your reduced matrix, which I will write over here. should be 1, 0, 0. 0 0.5, 0, 0.1, 0, 0.3, 0, 0.1, negative 2.5. So that means our solution is 0 0.5, 3, negative 2.5. 
Okay, so you can see that's a whole lot faster than doing those row, redu row reductions by hand. So this also, the process of using um, the graphing calculator, we probably will definitely do this at a meet. So um, if you're struggling with the technology piece, we will do this um, at the beginning of this lesson. So that way, so if you get to this step and you're like, oh, I don't know what to do, we'll go over it at a meet shortly. Okay, thanks.